Today I'm going to use this old plastic bottle to show you how pressure works. First off, the little bit of air in this bottle, like everything else, is comprised of molecules, and these molecules are held together by the force of other molecules in the air pushing against them, which we call atmospheric pressure. When this air is removed by a vacuum chamber, there's nothing holding these molecules together anymore, and they're free to fill all of the space available to them, in accordance with the ideal gas law. This can be reversed by cutting the vacuum, and the idea here is that the total number of molecules in the bottle never changes, the distance between them does, which is the function of pressure. This is the basic concept of Boyle's law, which states that as pressure increases, volume decreases, and vice versa. We can take advantage of this property to boil water at room temperature, and that's because water boils to get rid of its molecules with the highest average kinetic energy. Average molecular kinetic energy is expressed as temperature, and by using a vacuum at room temperature to get rid of the higher energy molecules, the ones left behind in the beaker can be cooled below room temperature. It's really over simplified, but this is basically how cooling air by compression works. This is also why atmospheric oxygen and humidity decrease with elevation. It's not that there's less of it, it's that the molecules themselves are further apart and fewer of them are coming in contact with you. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting, and as a last little demo, I put some acetone in the vacuum chamber and it doesn't boil away, instead it just evaporates really fast, which I think looks pretty cool. As always, thanks for watching and give me a follow to learn more science.